Photography uh, for me is a form of expression. I, I consider myself a lifelong storyteller. So I shot for Newsday, I shot for the Times Union, and I really try to carry a lot of what I learned as a journalist into what I do as a wedding photographer. Um, and that I know how to tell a story without dictating the flow of your day. So I'm not a director on your wedding day. I'm somebody behind the scenes capturing things as they happen. You ready for this? I'm ready. So, uh, same thing I told Stacy. All the things you can't do in an altar, you can do here. So, <laughs> don't be afraid to laugh, to cry, to pick her up, have a little fun. Okay. okay? All right. I spent long enough in the real work world to know how hard you have to work to get positive feedback at a desk job. I'm in a job where people really seem to appreciate what what it is I do for them and they, they always want to tell you about it and that's you know just to know that you made even just on one day you made a little difference for somebody you made them feel good about the way they looked or you made them feel like the love that they share for each other can be captured by a camera and they can show it to other people that's really valuable as a portrait photographer uh, I've worked with people like Eli Manning, I've worked with bands like Matt and Kim. I've done some pretty high profile, high stress situations um, and really know how to make portraits quickly and effectively and how to light people to flatter them and just kind of how to tease out the emotion. I love that people can look at an image and they get it in an instant. You know, if you look at my photography, you know exactly what I'm trying to say. I've shot weddings in places as exotic as Colombia, uh, South America. I've been to Ireland to shoot weddings. I have been in the hated New England Patriots locker room as a Jets fan that pained me. Um, I've been inside of dressing rooms of rock stars. Most importantly though, I get to spend wedding days with couples. Um, I get to be with them on some of their most intimate moments. I'm there when they put a ring on a finger. Uh, that, you know, it's just such a symbolic moment that here's this moment that marks the start of your marriage that 20, 30, 40, 50 years later, you can look back in an image and go, wow, this is when it became official. And I get to be there for that. So, you know, as much as I value some of the more high profile things, I think I live for those moments that I get to spend with people that they'll treasure forever. You know, I get a lot of things that I treasure. It's when you share it with somebody else and it means something to them that it really becomes valuable.